<laughs> it is time now for Better Money with Joel Johnson. Today we are talking about common retirement fears. Joel is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. Thank you so much for being with us. It's great to be here, Carol. So we've talked a lot about uh, fear in retirement. It's not really a good thing to have, so you're dispelling some of the things that people need to know so that they can feel more empowered in their retirement. Right, one of the things that happens is when somebody steps into retirement, they lose that confidence of earning the paycheck. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden they realize, hey, what I've saved, I've got to live on that for the rest of my life. And sometimes that fear takes over and really changes someone's behavior. And it might not necessarily be healthy what they're feeling. Yeah, so number one, uh, a big fear is investment loss. If you no longer have an income, then you worry about maybe your investments going south. Right. People worry about, oh, they know the market's going to go down. It happened a few times before in their lives, and sometimes they get too safe. They take their money and almost, for lack of a better word, bury it under the mattress, like just put it in the bank or any no interest, and that can be one of the worst things someone can do. So it's really important to talk somebody through if you're scared about the market going down and make sure you have the right balance. And the second fear, running out of money. This is something that we talk a lot about when you're on this program, which almost seems like a real fear because we're telling everyone that you got to save for the long term. People are living longer. Right. And as I talk to people all across the country, this is the number one subject that comes up. The second one is long-term care, but this is the biggie. Will I have enough money to last for the rest of my life or will I have enough money to last for the rest of my life and maybe pass something on to my kids? And again, what happens is if people don't have a financial plan, the uncertainty takes over and they begin to make decisions that aren't necessarily in their best interest. Okay, like being unprepared for a major health event. Right, and healthcare is a big issue. You know, the premiums go up every year, even when somebody's on Medicare and maybe having a supplement, it's much more expensive than it used to be, and it doesn't cover everything, and it certainly doesn't cover long-term care. So many times when we're doing financial planning, we're setting aside a little reserve account, sometimes a big reserve account, to make sure that these contingencies are covered. Also, we see parents and grandparents now setting aside some money to pay for kids or grandkids health care because the benefits just aren't what they used to be. And so the grandparents are trying to help out. Exactly. And there's also the effect of inflation. Right. Living longer, the biggest thing that happens when people live longer is they need more money every month to live on. If somebody retires today at age 65, there's a probability, a pretty good probability, they're going to be live to 95, which means they probably have to double, double or triple their income in retirement. They've got to have a plan to pay for those expenses that are going to go up. That's what's called inflation. The value of our dollar being spent out there goes down as time goes on. So you have a free guide for everyone watching uh, to help you through these fears. It's called Protection, Growth, and Income, and everyone can have it for free. All you have to do is go to BetterMoneyTV.com to get the offer. Absolutely. We want everybody to get the offer. It's got great information and other resources they can tap into. Alrighty. Thank you so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. That's Better Money.